my mates, let's start off with um, our soapbox. Starting off with EastEnders, because we got the end of a legend this week. Last few scenes of Max Branning. And before he goes, he's going to try and get that pub for his Linda. We wish it was his Linda. Mm. OK, Sharon? Oh, well, um, I, I, I thought you were going to ask me about cats later in a bra. <laughs> In, in the car, which she was last night, all over Phil Mitchell. Yes. Um, he's going to, yes, Sharon's going to be all over him. Kat's going to be all over him. But talking of heartthrobs in the square, we have got some big news from the square this week. Joining the show and joining us right now, the silver fox himself, another snake hit heartthrob it is, Brian Conley. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian. God bless you, Amy. God bless you, Ruth. God bless you, Sharon. I'm delighted to be part of the show because I finished watching Netflix in November. So uh, me and my wife just look out the window now and go, oh, the tree's still there. So for me to be part of the show, it truly is amazing. You know? Tell me, Brian, did you grow the beard for the part? No, this was my lockdown look, Eamon. I decided to dye my hair grey and uh, <laughs> give it the old Philip Schofield. People say I look like a young Martin uh, Kemp, you know, but I yeah. don't know. Uh, but no, it, it's it's how I look. And, uh, you know, due to lockdown, and I kept thinking, oh, should I dye it back and things like that. But as soon as I uh, had a little chat with them, they said, please do not change your it's look. It's nice, Brian. So I'm very happy. I love it. So the character is going to be Sonia's long-lost daddy. T tell us about him. Well, obviously, I'm going to get used to this. Um, I can't really say too much. Uh, his name's Terry Kant, and uh, he'll be uh, appearing probably in the next six weeks. Um, I've got some scripts, and I've been reading them, and I'm really chuffed with how it's panning out. And I'm really into watching the show now, because I thought, oh, I better start really getting into it. Um, and, and just happy to be part of such a, an iconic show and to get, you know, me involved in, and I've been rehearsing in every room now, I've got a drum kit. So, uh, you know, if there's anything <laughs> dramatic in my house, I'll just yeah. give it a bit, you know, I'll go, hang on, we've run out of toothpaste. <laughs> do, do, do. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm ready for well, it. But I have to say, due to what is going on in this world and for the last 12 months, for me, it's, it's a dream come true. I'm going to be walking around Albert Square with a big smile everywhere. All right, bro, calm down. No one has smiles. Yeah. Give us yeah. your frown. Yeah. You know, so and but I'm your delighted dad's, um, to be part favourite show? Say again, Sharon? I heard it was your dad's favourite show as well, so it's, it's it especially was, important um, Before to you. he passed away, um, he loved it. He really did. And my mum. My mum still watches it. And, you know, uh, my my life and my world, it's sort of chops and changes. So it's been part of my world. But, of course, you know, before Christmas, when I knew that I'd got the part, um, I've really been brushing up on it. And I'm genuinely into it now. I think, and, you know, any, what any the nerves at all, Brian? Any nerves? Uh, so, say again, Eamon? Any nerves? You know me. It, uh, uh, Ruth... We know, we've stood there uh, in front of 11 million people live doing Strictly. <laughs> Terrified. So this is a complete and utter breeze. I cannot uh, wait. And, of course, they would like me to, you know, bring some comedy to it as well and to be yeah. playing Song's dad. Uh, who, and she's been in there since she was nine. So uh, it's amazing. And, of course, famously... She's she's known for her trumpet skills, so and I can play the drum. So at the end of the day, we've got our own band. Our own band. Listen, we Gantic. can't wait to see you, Brian or Terry. Yeah. We should be calling you now, Tell. And and keep us posted on Instagram as well. Thank you very much, Thanks, Brian. Brian. And oh, good God bless luck you all. With Thank that. you very much. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. That'll be great. Uh, it will be great. Well, let's... Nice. He's going to be fantastic. I can't wait. And with the results of a, a fling with Carol Jackson, he'll be as well. Let's whip up north where there are people coming from the past for Aggie as well. Um, this is going to be a newcomer. Um, let's meet him. It's, it's brother Ronnie. Hey, it's your round, isn't it? What, were you having a lover? Of course. Uh, uh, no, not for me. I, uh, I better be making tracks. I've got a mountain of ironing to do. Rock and roll. No, no, no. You stay. Have another. Don't rush. Enjoy yourself. 
Lovely to see you, Axel. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Same as ever. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. It's time for some rum. Oh. Eh? Uh, rum, I've got work in the morning. Haven't we all? We know what to do with a tot of rum. Kevin and Debbie stuck in that fridge. I'm very worried about them. I was hoping somebody would find them last still night, there. but no, still there. Still there. I know she went away. Uh, still going to be there, slipping into unconsciousness. I can tell you when they get out, there's going to be a proposal from Abby, but it's at, it's at the hospital. Is it going to be a deathbed proposal? You'll just have to wait. Over in Emmerdale, we know we've got Lisa Riley coming on at midday to tell us all about Emmerdale. Diane is taking charity in, so that's good news for her. Let's whip over to the Dales, um, where things are a little strained for Darren um, when he has a little chat with the ex-wife, Nancy. And what else is happening on Hollyoaks this week? Well, as you can see, Toby's a little bit upset because the wife is pregnant by his dad, who's now dead, the brain surgeon that, that drugged him. Hey, at least you're not in a pig farm. You're out of there. Look on the bright side. Talking of the bright side, Silver and Romeo will have a topless man off on Thursday, Ruth. I thought I needed to tell you that because that doesn't brighten up a wet February. I don't know what will. More important news coming in from the soaps as we have it. But yeah, can't wait to see Brian. That is going to be just the ticket that we need in our soaps to brighten everybody up, isn't it? The old silver foxy. It is. It'll be good to see him. Thank you very much, Sharon.